What's up guys? I wanted to make this video because I just something just popped into my mind. Lots of other great reasons to be on Instagram or social media or anything like that. I think the best reason to be on Instagram is because there's, um, these days there's, there's like four main parts, right, to publishing. A lot of them are, are, are taking, taking over. I hope I remember these. But there's, of course, there's the printing, which most of you become your own printer. Self-publishing. That's why that exists. Uh, there's distribution. It's called UPS, right? <laughs> um, and, uh, yeah. There's that, so you know how to get the stuff to the person. And then there's financing, right? So you're looking for people who will pay for this publishing. So that's either going to be um, an individual person who buys the book and then you print or someone else. But there's also the fourth element um, that nobody can give you, which is how can you make writing that moves somebody? There's, no, there's, nothing, that can, there's nothing that can change that. Um, except for, you know, your ability to be a writer, except for social media. And that's where we are now, nowadays. It used to be, you would go to a classroom, you would write, teacher would say something, and then she would come back and tell you, Hey, this, this, and this based off of your writing. But now you have the opportunity every single time you create a piece of work to find out if this work moves, um, a given set of people. And you have to go back because there's no mistake. <laughs> Hang up on that person. I'll call them back. If you have 50 followers and you post it and 20 people see it and none of them say anything about it, they saw the thing. They weren't moved. That's your opportunity to go back into the thing and try again. That's huge. You found out that what you were doing didn't exactly reach those people. You might say, oh, I don't care what those people think. I don't know what to tell you in that case. Um, yeah, then find out who you're trying to talk to, try to get them to follow you, and then post the stuff and then see what they say back to you, because those are your readers. And the fact that you get to know up front whether or not people like your work for free, because that was never possible before, you know, unless you went out to the city square just talking about your stuff. But now you can write it in the comfort of your own home, share it on Instagram, and find out whether or not people care about what you're writing. It's huge. It has the potential to actually make you a better writer. That's the biggest reason to be on Instagram. Besides the fact that you might find the financing, besides the fact that you might find another publisher on Instagram who sees your work, besides the fact um, that it's a way to distribute your content to a ton of people at a time, you can pay money and, and you'll get the marketing and, and people will get to see it and stuff like that. Besides all those other good things, you can actually become a better writer. It's crazy. Hello guys, welcome to episode two of Getting Gary Vee. This is my whole video thing I set up to um, get Gary Vee's attention. This was 296. Um, we used to call this whole category two buck checks because, um, you know, uh, Trader Joe's used to have, I think, Charles Schwab. Um, and that was their brand. What should I do with all these years where you didn't deserve the poetry? 300 days at a time, I kept it all to myself, but it wasn't too quiet. I had close friends, I had the beach, I had streets in LA, but me and eight hour aliens. In fact, these were some of the best days. Imagine smiling with your friends, wondering where you're gonna sleep, knowing that they all offer everything. <laughs> But you're looking for stars on sped up sidewalks. Imagine smiles that wide in early morning headlights and a breeze like cups of coffee cutting through cracked windows. Desire. I had a band and we played shows like they were Glastonbury. Like we were never going to see them again until next weekend. And some of them I'm never going to see again. I didn't know I'd start losing friends before I was 30. I John Lennon with only my ideas as Yoko, and they kept me warm at night, and kept me shy in the morning, because all these years weren't meant to be open books, and cardiac arrest on my sleeves is simply bad fashion sense. I ended up in so many broken places and made them beautiful. 
I should have been hurt so worse, but my close calls got bested. Speaking of being arrested, there's a story for two to five friends only. It could have been two to five years easily. Two times I had my wings covered. Two times I learned that flesh is in the spirit, yet there's laws I need to learn to love. And God, you saw me through it all. In the years I said you didn't deserve my poetry. What's up, people? Um, wanted to make this video because second half of the year I'm switching. I'm going to be talking about something that I don't think gets nearly enough attention, and that's investment. And I'm not talking about in the market um, because I think, you know, stocks are great, whatever, cryptocurrency is great. Um, you're taking advantage of growth in the system. But what you're really taking advantage of is time. And guess what? We all have time, okay? And so why does time turn... Uh, money into more money because um, that's how growth works and I firmly firmly believe that the the best investment is always going to be yourself that's what I call what's up this is one of those days where I'm just feeling blessed and I feel necessary to um, talk about my blessings I'm not bragging let me talk about the blessings though thank you Jesus um, number one I got mentioned by this cool Instagram account um, it, well, that wasn't just a big deal. It's more like all these things happening at once, right? So it's one of those things where it just feels like a confirmation thing. Cool Instagram account mentioned me. Email in my inbox. <laughs> uh, there's this artist touring from Ohio who wants me to perform with them in San Antonio. And um, I've been making a lot of new songs, so it's just like, you know, coincidentally. Probably not because I've been putting them out there. But um, and then I'm hosting the composition tonight. Um, just got word that I get to speak to another cool delegation of like really active people, activists. Uh, I'm just talking about what I'm doing um, um, with an organization that I work with. I don't want to drop too many details. Um, there was one other thing that was also super cool. Um, I just did, you know, a couple talks last week and I'm going to be putting up a new one today. And it's just cool, you know, like it's really fun to be able to do um, a lot of different stuff. What was the other one? I feel like there was another one. Maybe that was it. But just like a, a few things like that can make you feel really cool in the mind. It just reminds you, you know, why you do it. And then I saw this post from, you know, one of the great entrepreneurs of our era, Gary Vee. And he was like, you know, people talk about luck. And sometimes things feel like luck. And then you remember that um, it's not luck, you know. And I, I almost want to go into the physics and the science of what I think about all this stuff. But it's like... When you're doing a lot, um, and the way things pay off, they don't pay off the way that the work's done. Because the work is done consistently. You're constantly working. You're constantly grinding. And then, and then you know, things happen, you know, and it starts snowballing and different things, different things go down. So it's just like, it's not luck ever. Um, it's always, it always happens in a moment because that's the universe that we live in. But it's always consistent work. And it's always pushing yourself for years, months, years, near decades. I'm 29, I'm about to be 30s. And um, I can't tell you a lot of people, like, if you knew the way that I lived life and the way that I have lived life, I can't tell you anyone who would choose to do the way things that I had done for any other reason than it's just passion. And that's why you just have to be passionate about it because it doesn't make any sense. It's just not possible. Otherwise, if you're not following something that you don't have the ability to quit, then you're going to quit because why the hell wouldn't you? Anyway, just that little snippet. Yeah.